Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play um, this game. <laughs> Let's play Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Yes. In the last episode, we defeated uh, the Abyssal Guardian, big ugly black dragon, and uh, saved. And got to this place, the Hall of T Termination. Uh, something I should mention, the first bit of Arise, myself and my shadow. this song, it's easier to hear if you're listening to the version on the soundtrack, but the first bit of this is the music from, uh, is the uh, death fanfare from the old classic Vanias. Look at those reflections in the back. That's kind of amazing. Oh, hi. I missed you. You can die. Alright. Moving right along. Stay down. They usually drop. Or drop. They usually throw their axe low and then... High. Yeah, they uh, they attack with uh, stronger attacks, basically. Sponge cake, mithril, and wool. Okay then. Um, I want to check our quests while we're here. Oh hey, I've avenged the death of Trevor because I've killed enough axe outsiders. Huh? Okay, arch demons aren't in quest. I couldn't remember. They do have some interesting, um, drops, though. Oh, I should mention, I'm gonna try and get the all three endings to this game. So, yeah. Something to keep in mind. Yeah, that, that did look a little suspicious. Eh, bullet capacity. Not really my thing, but... Uh, like I said, these Titanias actually have a really good luck drop, so I'm hoping one of them will drop it. They can poison you. Augment mind. You're gonna want to get all of these yellow sh pretty much as many yellow shards as possible up to, um, thing. Up to nine up to rank 9, because then they become, you know, skill shards and are always on, and you don't have to equip them. That's going to take a lot of ectoplasm, just saying. And we come through here. Yep. One of the things I do love about the um, Silver Knight familiar is that, you know, you can get this creep through the walls when I have to get away from him. Oh, well, I guess I didn't need it. Yeah, we can't go any higher, unfortunately. So... I like to come here first. Well, for reasons. For various reasons. Nice! There we go. Sword fragment. Uh, that's used for... Well, upgrading, among other things, the sword familiar. Not nearly as cool or as fun as the sword familiar in um, Symphony, sadly. Ow. 
Well, we knew I wasn't good at dodging. There we go. I'm getting a lot of sponge cake. A lot of sponge cake. Okay. So we come this way. You want to go this way first, really? I do. I do. Arrive myself and my shadow. Hmm. Ow. I do. Yeah, this guy is basically an axe, a, a classic Vania axe armor. Fine equipment recipe. Very important. Alright, so. Come on. There we go. Well, that was horrible. Ow! Oh, Vashia. That's a that's a really great shard. Which I am eventually going to get. But not yet. Or Skia. Vaskia, not Vashia. Yeah, Tepsosius. Wow. You have some serious, uh... Thank you. Oh, really. We got a demon tail. That's good. Alright. Guy had some serious duration on that. We cannot get to that, um, chest just yet, so don't try. Arise myself and my shadow! Why you? Yep, just, uh... Make use of your double jumps, people. And moving right along. This... Well, this opens up something pretty useful. Burdish, Damascus, yeah. Yeah, we're back in one of our early, the early uh, rooms, actually. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, she can be a little tough, and I'm really just doing this for map completion and an MP max up. Ignore the axe outsider. Arise myself and my shadow. <sighs> and he dies before he can get you with another throw. Arise myself and my shadow. Uh, yeah, that that looked a bit suspicious to me. Gauge glasses. This tells you how much H, if you equip these, you will see, instead of, when you hit an enemy, instead of seeing how much you're taking off of them, you will see, yeah, a millionaire's key is required. Uh, crud, I'm paralyzed, uh, paralyzed, poison. Yes, I, Titania, yeah, the, uh, the queen of the fairies. I don't care about that poison and you'll see why. A terrible thing has happened. One of the children got a hold of the red shard bringing the demon I summoned all those years ago back into our world. We somehow cut the shard loose from the boy and averted ch chaos, but this proves I was right. The crystal binds with the shard's powers. I shall call the children shard binders. The shard binding incident made apparent our need to teach the children self-discipline. The guild has introduced ju su just such a regimen to verse them in combat by pitting them against the demons we summon. One boy, Jebel, has shown tremendous ability but his crystal growth lags behind the others. Why? Uh, something interesting. Um, save point. And that is why I didn't care about being, um, uh, poisoned. 
Uh, okay, Miriam as a name is Arameo Judaic. Uh, it has, a, or no, excuse me, Mer Miriam is Hebrew, and it has an Aramaic Judaic counterpart, which is M Miriam. And yes, that is the name for Mary in the Bible. It was actually Miriam, basically. Jebel is not really a name, but it may be intended to e to evoke Jibril, which is the Arabic version of the name Gabriel, the Annunciation, the Angel of the Annunciation. Or I could just be talking out of my hat. That happens too. Okay. We'll go through there in a bit. And we get another hair apparent, so we need to make a vi visit to Todd at some point. Yeah, you notice that up there? There we go. Yeah, horse. Ow. Gamjin. That guy is a nasty one. Kill him first before kill him and the um the sword first before you do anything. Because yeah, you can get a healing here. There we go. Celeste's key. Well, that'll open a thing. Graham, the famous sword known as Graham. Cash. An MP max up. An HP max up. This is a reference to something they did in a lot of the Castlevania games, like Aria of, or not Aria, well, yeah, Dawn of Sorrow. It's in Dawn of Sorrow, it's in Symphony of the Night. Do not press up on this bookshelf. That is a place called the 8-Bit Nightmare. That is Iga. <laughs> and the 8-Bit Nightmare, we are not, you are not ready. You want to do that right, well, you want to do that in your run-up to beating the game. So, we're gonna... That's the wrong uh, room. We're going to save again, and then continue on a bit. Yes. Let's see. My level's 27. That should be okay for what I want to do, I think. Rava Baral is fine. Diabolist's cap. Necklace, hyperventilator, gunman's scarf. I'm probably gonna go for now. I should go back and try the bat wings, but that'll come. Just ignoring the Titanias. I'm not really sure what's up with the up in this area, but of course we can get through there. Get another bullet capacity. Sickle Moon, which we can do with Graham. And Perry. Definitely can't do that. And an MP max up. Very nice. I do love, I love the way this place looks. It just is really gorgeous. All right. Um, let's see. Here's my inventory. Oh, yeah, that's fine especially with uh, three sponge cakes and a smoothie. We're probably fine. Do I want to change my sword? Yes, I'm going to change to my flying edge. It's a... Because I want distance rather than speed. What took you so long? Well, now that you've tasted the power of so many shards, I presume you're ready to join me. You presume wrongly. I'm here to keep my promise to you, and nothing else. What promise? You really have forgotten, then. I swore to you that I would stop you if your Shardbinder power ever manifested itself against your will. You made the same oath to me. <gasps> Please! You think I wield this power unwillingly? Yes. I do. I've known it since our meeting on the Galleon. 
there was a moment when I saw a flicker of the real Jeebel beneath all that hate. Fool! I've had enough! If you want to stop me, you'll have to do it by force. Next time, obey. Yeah, I don't know what, what the glitch is with some of the dialogue. Okay, so basically, guess what? Ow. Okay. Ow. Try to stay away from him when he's doing that whole, um... Uh, yeah. That's Rigadohin, or... I don't know what that was. Okay, Baisha, Baiska, yeah. Watch out, because that, that actually can do a lot of damage. Yeah, but he's easy enough to dodge. Ow. I'm not very good. Ugh. He's easy enough to dodge, she says, and then gets caught. But really, for the most part, he is easy enough to dodge. Okay. I don't know why I can't seem to dodge that last. Yeah, if he's doing this, um, fireball thing. But basically, he's Dracula. I mean, this is, like, every Dracula fight ever. Except that you don't have to hit people in the head. Ooh, yeah, that's Tepsel Renda. It's, uh, not a bad, um... Oh, stay out of the middle when he does that. And we killed him. Achievement unlocked. Just a flicker. You... you did the right thing, Miriam. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know. Seems awfully short. Is it over? We did what we came here to do. We stopped Jebel. But the castle is still there. The demons... Yes. But Dominique and the church can take it from here. You think so? I have a bad feeling about all of this. What would you have us do? It's out of our hands now. Perhaps, but... Yeah, that's a bad ending. Uh, actually, it's the incomplete ending. Or ending C, as a lot of fans term it. That's a, that's a fairly reasonable... Egavania thing, so we're gonna just go back to where we saved. Yes. All right. Uh, we do need to go back in and just get the crud from before Jeebel's room, so I'm gonna do that, and then we can go back to Arvinville. We still got a lot more castle to explore. Because, yeah, that's that's a pretty standard, um, I want to get these, just get these in my, um, sickle moon. Uh, and archives. Perry. The thing is, uh, you can only do these techniques, well, some of these techniques, with certain weapons, but if you master them, then you can do it with any weapon of that type. I'm not, you're not going to be seeing me do any techniques or mastery because I can't do fighting inputs, even, even with this. So let's go back to Arvinville. We've got some stuff to do. Quite a bit of stuff to do, really. Yeah, normally when I do bad endings and stuff, I um, put them in uh, 
things. I put them in things. I put them in bonus episodes, but in this case, I'm just going to get them as we go through. New? Here's what I've turned up on. Good work. And we get some Damascus. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. I wanted to check some of my other um, quests. Right. Okay, I know I need the hound thing, uh, and she needs... It's not curry. What's the next thing? Crepe. I got one dragon egg. We'll see what I can make. Um, but I wanted to check my inventory. As you can see, this is my, uh, these are my crafting elements. I haven't gone through it much. Lion Mane. I only have one Leonine Pelt. I need two more of those to make, uh, the Hound Vest. It doesn't use Hound Skin. This might be an episode. Hi, the, the rest of this episode, I might... So, what'll it be? Craft. I might dedicate to doing some of the other stuff. Uh, we can make... A potion. Go with this. So I might as well. And then I'll I can make a high potion. And let's see. Steam boots. Sure, why not? I'll, I'll never use this. them, but... <laughs> They're kind of neat. I think. Feather crown, silver tiara. Got both of those. Silver breastplate is better than what I've got. The Polonaise is even better than that. And the Knight's Cuirass is the best. Although Polonaise actually gives uh, mine a... I'll go with this. We'll just make this. There we go. Better armor is always nice. Rings. Bunny scarf. Riga Dohin, which I've got. High jump I can now make if I get bovine plumes, which I can't get. Okay. So we're going to go back. Let's see what we can cook. Strawberry au lait. Yes. Even though I don't have the drinks recipe yet. Or do I? I'll go with this. Maybe I do. I think I do. That was the drinks recipe. So we're going to drink that. Can't Wait. do any of this. Uh, I could make, if I make curry sauce, which I just need, I, need cur I can buy curry sauce, so I probably will do that. Um, let's see. G-bone steak. That drops off of various, um, seafood curry. I can't do that yet. Very spaghetti. Flan. Apple pie. Lemon cream pie. Let's see. Crepe dough. How can I make crepe dough? Okay, I need a beast milk. Although I could probably buy like a white sauce. Okay, for crepe dough, I need a flour, a sugar, a beast milk, which I can probably just buy a white sauce and break it down, which I should show you guys how that works anyway. And let's see. What she wants is a strawberry crepe, so I can't do that anyway. I'll need um, heavy cream, I'll need strawberries. Pace yourself out That's there. not what I wanted to do. Ugh. Hi, Miriam. What are we transmuting this time? Enhanced shard. But I am going to show you. Well, no, I'm not going to. Okay, I want to enhance I'll the Rigas Dorama. Yes. First and foremost. Okay. Uh, upbeat heat. I might this. as well. It's quite useful. I'll go with this. I need also to um, do things like. With this. Like grind for shards, but I'm gonna probably do that I'll just go with this. screen. Yeah, I don't know what's with the slowdown here. I'll go with this. Alright, summon plume parma, not gonna bother. Directed shield, I'll go oh yes. This. This. It's very nice. I'll go with this. And now it wants steel. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. You do want to get nine of them I'll too because 
Yeah, the grade is going to basically increase the damage it does, because the directed shield can also do damage. I'll go with this. Wow, I might get this to nine. Good. Go and then it's just have to, yep, okay. I'll go with this. Heretical grinder, just needed a sword fragment. Flying dagger, I don't care about. Same with full light blast. I'll go with Resist this. petrification, on the other hand, and silver knight. I'll go with this. I'm not using that Leonine pelt. So, yeah, all done. instead of... Pace yourself out there. Yeah, yeah. So, um, in... Wow. That was some slowdown. It's mostly in that room, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna go look at, um... We're gonna go talk to Dominique. She shouldn't have anything new, I have but... something new... I mean, she shouldn't have anything new to... What are you looking to buy? Okay, let's see. I can buy two more high potions. Right? And, and we so. have a deal. And let's get me up to this eight. Many regular things. potions. That's nice. And I can Is buy three high ethers, so might as well. And Is this four many ethers. Thanks. Trust me. Okay. Thank you. All right. And I should be able to eat a new thing. That's strawberry all day, which ups my mind and my magic quick charge. Okay. Uh, actually, let's check my um, key items. Pass plate, the various hair appearance. As we can see, we're missing one, two, yeah, we're, we're still missing quite a few. Fine healing items, special ammunition, curry dish, sweets, cookies, drinks. Okay, we did get the drinks recipe. Look, sometimes my brain just doesn't give me things. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually I'm going to do... Let's see, I'm at 27 minutes. Hmm. I think I'm going to go up... We're going to go to the... Um, our next place. The next place we have to go is the cathedral. What else do I need? I want sp strawberries and maybe G-bone steaks. So we're gonna go grind. I'm gonna actually go grind Solanos. And show you some of that. I am actually gonna show you some of that. We'll stop at the I'll show you the best place to grind Solanos. And then we will stop at the It is also a good place to grind um Shield Outsiders. And... And try and get their shards. Shortcuts are good, and I really should be using them more. But I keep forgetting to update them. Pretty sure this is my highest luck. So if we come through here, we get get a little money, which is nice. Come on. Probably be, uh, what's my shard? Uh, Tapsosius. Fight lightning with lightning. And we get some strawberries. We, you're gonna need four of those. So, oh, you're not dead yet. I thought you were dead. More strawberry and monster bird hair. So I'm going to grind these guys, um, and uh, when, uh, when I come back, I'll probably, well, see, I need Leonine pelts, but I'll just do that. But I'm going to grind these guys and get some strawberries, and we'll get the crepe done, and then head on for the rest of the game, or the rest of the game. You know what I mean. So I will see you in a bit. Thank you for joining me for, uh, yeah, let's play Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and you guys have a great day. Goodbye. 
In passing the first incomplete ending, we've officially made it into the second phase of the game, and you know what that means. It's time for palette swaps! Our first palette swapped Goatcha enemy is Larage, who hangs out in the upper parts of the library. The fourteenth spirit is called Larage, or Larae. He is a marquis great in power, showing himself in the likeness of an archer clad in green, and carrying a bow and quiver. He causeth all great battles and contests, and maketh wounds to putrefy that are made with arrows by archers. This belongeth unto Sagittary. He governeth thirty legions of spirits. Well, most of his clothes are green. You can see where this outfit is definitely a combination of the drawing of Barbados from the Infernal Dictionary, and the actual description of the Goetia, and this is why the two of them have arrows instead of guns. Larage has three item drops plus a shard. His common drop is the Sinister Rag, with a likelihood of 12%. It's used to make a whip, two types of armor, and a piece of headgear, as well as upgrading both Larage's shard and Barbados's. They're also dropped by Kaharaith, though, but I think Larage is safer to grind. Then at 10% he drops Gunpowder. Obviously you make bullets with this, but it's also used to enhance five different shards. Useful stuff, and it drops from three different enemies, as well as being sold in the shop. The last item to drop is the Toradar, a gun that drops at a 4% rate. You can also craft them out of Walnut and Damascus, and they sell for $750. Yeah, not the worst. Larage's shard is Chaser Arrow, which drops at a 4% rate, and does exactly what it says on the tin. You want this. It homes in, though not always very well, and it will be exceedingly useful in one boss fight in particular, thanks to a peculiarity of the arena. You'll know it when we get there. Larage also appeared in Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, where apparently the designers decided to split the difference on name spelling and use both the J and the I. That one was green, female, and carried a rifle with a sniper scope, and dropped armored corsets. Hell probably has some pretty interesting personal ads, all I'm saying.